We went to a charity quiz on Saturday and here's a few of the questions. We did quite well with some of the categories and our combined collective intellect around our table meant that we stormed into a creditable fifth finishing place. But it's obviously always about just taking part. Questions also featured in yesterday's Gospel reading. For those who know about these things, the liturgical church year ended yesterday on what is known as Christ the King Sunday. For a whole year, beginning on Advent Sunday, the set readings from the lectionary take us through key Christian festivals. It is also about the ministry and message of Jesus and the story of how this is foretold in the Old Testament. Yesterday's Gospel reading was the account of Jesus being questioned by Pilate about the status of his kingship. Are you really a king? And I've been questioning myself a lot recently and thinking about where we are with life, church, kingdom, etc, etc. In various books that I've been reading recently, there's been a recurring theme of the kingdom. The more I reflect, the more convinced I am that we should be seeking a greater understanding of the kingdom and learning to put into practice what that means. Generosity, creativity, compassion, risk, justice, to name just a few. Our business may not be about protecting our practices and institutions, but living a way of life that reflects the life of Jesus. The challenge that Jesus presented to Pilate, who himself represented a powerful empire that kept people firmly in their place, is that he represents a kingdom based on sacrificial love, emptying himself for the sake of others, and in weakness showing the greatest example of strength. Lord of a new day, and a new week. Let me be a sign of the kingdom, of your generosity, your love, and your grace. Amen. By the way, a bee has two pairs of wings, and an octopus has three hearts.